Welcome to uh, day five of seven in our emotional intelligence workout series. Today we're going to focus on emotional expression. As you know the drill already, I'm working uh, <laughs> with a pencil pen, and uh, but feel free to do it with that uh, modium or just uh, thinking in your own head. But uh, let's go into our first warm up exercise. So a motion wheel is going up on the screen, and your task is to just pick one letter of the alphabet and find all the emotions that start with that letter. And again, this is just to bring all the different emotions to the top of our mind, get emotions <laughs> rumbling around and uh, filtering around in our brain. So over to you, do this for five seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever you wanna do in your own space. So it's just about finding all the, <laughs> all the emotions that start with a specific letter. Enjoy. Cheers. Okay, so let's go on to an emotion check-in now. But I'm actually, as you see, uh, taking down the emotion wheel. So this one is just in your own space and saying, okay, what am I feeling right now? But the difference on this one in this session today, this workout today, is I'm gonna ask you to, to say, I am noticing that I'm feeling whichever emotion it is. I'm noticing that I'm feeling excited because I get to do this workout with all of you guys. And the reason that we do this is because if we are able to say, I am noticing that I'm feeling, it helps us from being consumed, overwhelmed by a specific emotion. And it also helps us, again, notice the granularity or the nuances that we're feeling. So I'm noticing that I'm feeling excited, but I'm also noticing that I'm feeling nervous because I want to make sure I'm saying everything right. So it just adds a different element to this discussion and uh, to, the, to the understand working with our emotions. So over to you, emotion check-in. I'm going to give us 30 seconds, but as always, take the time that you need for this. So. What are you feeling right now? I'm noticing that I'm feeling X, Y, and Z. So go for it. Wonderful, so now let's move on to just an emotion expression. So I'm gonna give us a couple prompts and you guys are gonna write about that in whichever way makes sense for you. And you can reference the uh, Penny Baker uh, emotional expression research if you wanna learn a little bit more about this strategy. But for us here today, it's just taking as much time, as little or as, uh, <laughs> as long as you want, just to write about that prompt that I'm giving you. So the first one that I have here is I am proud of. And then just write about that in your own space. And I recognize for some of you, this is going to be easy, you know, tip of your fingers, you're, you know, thought about this or you've journaled in the past. For me, you know, that's not my background. I still find it on to just write about emotions, about different things, but just encouraging you to lean into it. And there's no right or wrong answer to this. It's just finishing that uh, sentence and writing about that in your own way. So I am proud of and uh, go for it.
Okay, so we're going to go on to our next prompt now, and this is, I am confident in. And again, just write for as little or as long as you want, and whatever comes to mind is fantastic. I am confident in, and over to you. Okay, next prompt that I have for us is, I feel energized when? Fantastic. Okay, so we're going on to uh, our next prompt, which is I feel hopeful. And again, finish that in a sentence or use that prompt in uh, whatever way makes sense for you. Champion, so I'm gonna leave this last one in your hands just to pick any emotion that you wanna explore in greater depth. Uh, so again, just uh, enjoy, enjoy the expression, enjoy the thinking uh, about that and enjoy the writing about that. So uh, over to you, <laughs> as always.
Okay, fantastic. So we're going to finish up this uh, workout with a letter of gratitude or a message of gratitude. And so if you haven't already done a message of gratitude, what it is is just finding someone in your life, a family member, a friend or a colleague, a coworker, a boss, a teacher, you know, whatever it is, and just sending them a message of gratitude. You can do it by a text message. You can do it by in the hands of that person or in the ears of that person. So letter of gratitude, the only instruction I have for you is that it's authentic. It can be as, again, as short or as long as you want one sentence to a full blown essay, uh, but again, in your hand. So I'll leave it there and <laughs> let you do that letter of gratitude in your own time. And just again, I want to say a huge thank you. Well, hey, let's start with this. A little bit of gratitude to all of you for wanting to improve your emotional intelligence, for being here and uh, yeah, just immense gratitude for that and encouragement as well and appreciation. Uh, so keep doing what you're doing. Keep uh, <laughs> winning along these, these ways and uh, looking forward to seeing you on, on day number six as well. All right, toodle pedal.